R2 Builders, welcome back. We are cutting the large data port out of wood. The first step, I'm going to make a jig for this because this is a beveled piece. So this is how we have to do this. Angle your table saw that we have here. Cut the proper angle that you're going to need for the angle or the bevel, I should say, that is on the large data port. You make a small block of wood, affix that to a base, and then we're going to put another piece on top of that later on. Here, we are going to start by cutting out and routing out the radius of the large data port. This is the top portion. The bottom portion has a different radius and as well so does the back of this. So we just slowly go around this. Remember, watch your fingers. You don't want to get anything chopped off because a router blade will chop off your fingers in a second and you won't be able to do anything about it before it's done. So just keep plunging the base down until this radius is complete. You'll see one side falls off over here and then there's the other side. I purposely made this block of wood the width that it is. That way I can route out this bevel and we're going to show you how to do that as soon as we finish cutting this out. Now go the proper depth for the top of the LDP but not for the bottom. We're going to show you why. Here is the jig that we have. I put a top on the angle for that. I clamped it down on both sides and had it rotate upon a pivot point. I want to be able to come into the router like I'm doing here. That's why we left that edge like so. Be careful with this. Make sure everything is secure. It's best to make a brace that goes from the base all the way up to the top to where this piece rotates on that pivot point. That way it doesn't flex. If it does flex, it's going to cause you to mess up your piece. What I'm doing here, I'm just slowly taking off small chunks of wood, moving it in closer and closer every time. You don't want to take off too much because it's really hard on this router. I am using a soft wood. You don't want to make any mistakes. If you go in the wrong direction, it can splinter this terribly and I will show you that it does that here pretty soon and all I do to make this piece is I just slowly move it into the router section by section as I take away more and more wood I just unclamp it and push it down a little bit further into that bit you don't want to go too far as I said earlier because it makes it hard to cut here is where this board you see it just splintered right there terribly as you see there's more of it I just took off more pieces it was a soft wood be careful. I believe I used this piece anyway because of the way I had the markings. I still had enough that I could salvage this to use for the top portion of the large data port. I'm just cutting away that bevel here. After I do that, we're going to switch out bevel pieces because the top is different than the bottom. Here is the bottom portion of this. We're going to turn that over and we're going to route out this because it doesn't need to be there. That's excess that we don't need as per plans. The bevel on that meets up flat where it's supposed to be and the top portion does not do that. So we just route out this as we go slowly, going lower and lower until it's where we need it to be at. Once it's there, we just kind of pull that piece away a little bit. I didn't go all the way through for the bottom piece. As you see, it's still attached to a block of wood and we're going to show you why later. Here's the top. I have a line there for the depth that this has to go to. Just slowly route that away away. Once it's routed away, we leave a small section in the middle and we're going to do this on purpose. That way we can completely go through this wood and it'll just leave that top portion of the LDP for us. Here, just taking off a little bit more, I keep going layer by layer. And you can see where that slot is there at the bottom of the screen. That's what we're going to wind up meeting with. Here, I've got it clamped down on both sides of that on the actual piece itself. We plunge down. This is how I was talking about earlier where I left a small section in the middle. That way this piece won't go flying off anywhere. It's clamped down. We can route out the rest. You see me slowly taking it away because that's where that inner portion is of the radius for the top of the large data port. So here is the bottom of the large data port. I'm using that top bearing bit to cut that out. I use the back radius for that. Here's that part. This is the bottom and this is how we cut that out as I said earlier. Take that piece, stick it into your frame with the skins on and mark it, which is what we're going to do here. And we're just going to chop off the ends of this. You will need to subtract from those markings because the bottom portion is smaller than the top portion. I'm just using my little Dremel here to cut off these edges. It was easier than getting out a chop saw. Go on each side. Make sure you have your top marked as well. Mark that a little bit differently and just kind of slowly test fit it into your frame to see, make sure it fits on each side where it's supposed to fit. That's the top being cut out. 
Here I got the bottom portion. I'm using that side to mark just a chunk of wood off of here. That's going to be the side portion of the large data port. I put a line to mark the height of this, as you can see I'm doing here. I'm just going to get my Dremel tool for this as well and just cut out a small little block. And we're going to use that to make the side portion of the large data port. Have my Dremel tool here. You may want to do it a different method than what I did. This is how I did mine, and you're free to do it any way you want. I cut that block out. I go on all sides of it. When it comes time to making the proper width per plan, I just take this block, put a mark on it, and then I just slowly cut off a small section of that just to represent each side piece. I cut two pieces, of course, because there's one for each side. Once you have that done, you can kind of just line up these pieces and see how they fit as a test fit. You don't want to glue anything together because you're, this is made out of wood, so you're going to need to sand it down for painting and all that stuff. So here's the part right here. We just test fit those pieces. It looks great. We'll sand it and we'll paint it. As always, for our latest videos, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day.